This set of slides is about changes affecting market equilibrium. And this specific presentation is about changes in supply. What will happen when there is a change in supply? Here we have a supply and demand curve. When they intersect, we can see the equilibrium price of 160 cents per kilowatt hour has been established and the equilibrium quantity at that price is 200 gigawatts per hour. Now there's an increase in supply to S accent. At the original equilibrium price of 160, there will now be a supply of 300 due to the increase in supply, but the demand remains at 200. Therefore, there is now excess supply. This will put downward pressure on the price level. The price decrease to the new equilibrium level of 120 cents per kilowatt hour. And at this new equilibrium price, a new equilibrium quantity of 260 will be established. You can see that due to the increase in supply, there has been a decrease in the equilibrium price and an increase in the equilibrium quantity. Let's look at a decrease in supply to S double accent. As you can see, at the original equilibrium price of 160, the quantity supplied will now be 120. The quantity re demanded remains at 200, therefore there is now excess demand. This will put upward pressure on the price. The price will increase to a new equilibrium of 200 cents per kilowatt hour and a new equilibrium quantity of 160 will be established. You can see that the equilibrium quantity decreased from 200 to 160. So the decrease in supply has resulted in an increase in price and a lower equilibrium quantity. This is now the end of this series of presentations which explain the factors that influence market equilibrium. You should now understand the following. Demand, supply and how the equilibrium price and quantity are established. How changes in quantity demanded will be shown on a diagram and how changes in demand will be shown on a diagram. You also have to be able to distinguish between changes in quantity supplied and changes in supply and how these will be shown on a diagram.